Spain. The Siberian country has a lot of amazing places, perhaps even more than this channel can show in a lifetime. And one of these awesome places is the town of Sepulveda. Located in the province of Segovia and catalogued as one of the most beautiful towns in Spain since 2016. It is situated in the surroundings of the Oces del Rio Duraton Natural Park and about an hour drive from Madrid. This beautiful Spanish village dates back to the Iron Age, but in the year 98 before Christ it was conquered by the Romans and the Roman consul Titus Didius moved the city to its current site. Sepulveda is a small village, but there is a good deal of things to visit and enjoy that will make your day just fly by. Among the places to see in Sepulveda are its awesome medieval stone streets, the main square, the church of El Salvador, and the sanctuary Nuestra Señora de la Peña, try its traditional cuisine, and of course, the Oces del Rio Duraton trekking routes. One of the highest points of the village and working as a site of the main square, we find the remains of the wall of the Sepulveda's castle. Attached to the lower parts of its towers, is a 16th century building with a continuous balcony which supports the so-called clock of the square. Currently, cultural exhibitions are held in this building and from its balcony the Chupinazo is launched, announcing the start of the bull festivals. In the main square you can find many restaurants where you can have lunch or just a snack, which is very typical in Spain to drink some beer and have a serving of something tasty from the menu. In all these small towns the food is delicious and abundant, and if you're in this part of Spain and moreover in Sepulveda, which is known as the capital of roasted lamb, be sure to order lamb or roasted pig, which is very famous and you will not be disappointed. Also, visit some of the local bakeries. You will immediately fall in love with the bread made in the wood oven and also the traditional sweets, like the anise tarts, the roses, the muffins and the homemade cookies. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and definitely subscribe to watch more amazing videos like this. At the entrance of the street that leads to the sanctuary of Nuestra Señora de la Peña is the so-called Puerta de la Zogue. The sanctuary of Nuestra Señora de la Peña is a Romanesque church from the 12th century. It has a high nave apse and an attached tower. The most significant feature of the temple is its tympanum, located at the entrance door, unique in Segovia and in the Segovian Romanesque style. In this church there is the image of the patron of the town of Sepulveda and its land, Nuestra Señora de la Peña, a polychrome wood carving from the 16th century which represents the Virgin seated with the child Jesus in her arms. The El Salvador church is also a Romanesque style church, dating back to the 11th century. Similar to the sanctuary Nuestra Señora de la Peña, it has a single nave with a semicircular apse. The tower is separated from the nave and communicates with it through a narrow vaulted passageway. From here you will have an excellent view of the town because this is the highest point in the village. Another thing to visit outside Sepulveda is the natural park of the Oces del Rio Duraton. You can track parts of the Duraton River beginning outside Sepulveda. It is a beautiful trek, 
and in spring or autumn, it's a magical place to spend an afternoon. The river Duraton carved an impressive canyon along its path, which is home to a great number of bird species. One of these are the griffin vultures, a bird widely distributed in the Iberian Peninsula, but very representative of this area. Tracking the canyon, you will see many vultures flying to their nests in the rock walls. Following the river downward, you get to the Burgo Migliodo Lake. The path is not trackable till the lake, so you will need to reach it by car. If you put Las Oces del Rio Duraton in Google Maps, it will take you directly there. And from here, there is a one kilometer walk to the Ermita de San Frutos, a beautiful chapel constructed on a vertical cliff over the lake. From the parking, you will quickly realize the big numbers of vultures flying at a quite low altitude. At this point, you might want to have your mobile phone or camera with the battery charged, because you will want to take a lot of pictures. As you arrive closer to the Ermita de San Frutos, the incredible canyon landscape will open up before your eyes. With rugged vertical cliffs of dizzying heights and flocks of mighty vultures flying so close over your head that you could almost reach and touch them. The sheer beauty and epicness of the landscape will truly leave you breathless. Even with your mobile camera, you will be able to take awesome pictures, but if you have a camera with a longer lens, you will take the images of your life. And among these mighty birds is where our journey to visit the beautiful village of Sebulveda ends. My name is Alex Moraras, I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share and definitely subscribe to find out more amazing places to visit before you come to Spain.